as uh, our controls are effective enough in defending the West against this? Well, I, I think that's partly expressed by people who are, <coughs> are not really aware of what we do have in place. So we have a service which is run by Public Health England, supported by us at the University of Liverpool and also colleagues in London. Uh, it's the imported fever service, and when returning travellers come from anywhere in the world with a febrile illness, if it's not immediately clear what the diagnosis is, we are able to help them both with looking after the patient, with getting the diagnose, diagnostic tests in place very quickly, and then if it should happen that such a patient has a, a transmissible disease like Ebola, then we're very ready to implement the public health measures. Thankfully, this has never yet happened in this country. Uh, but we, we do have returning travellers who come back with a whole range of illnesses and we deal with them. And uh, briefly, we've just been hearing that the World Health Organization is to put up, I think it's about a hundred million large sum of money. Um, that presumably very welcome news to people like you. I think that is very welcome news because one of the challenges we have is that in areas like Central Africa where there have been Ebola outbreaks for 20 or 30 years, people are relatively good at dealing with it. And what we need to do is get on top of this outbreak, which is the first ever outbreak in West Africa, support those countries, but then also think about how we prepare for future outbreaks that may happen in unexpected African countries to stop a, an outbreak coming as big as this one has. Professor Tom Solomon, very grateful to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.